Hi, my name is Khalil Ghanem, and I'm a professor of medicine in the Division of Infectious Diseases, and I'm also the Deputy Director of Education for the Department of Medicine at Johns Hopkins Bayview. I have the great privilege of directing one of the unique features of our program, the Scholarship Pathways. About four years ago, we had our annual spring program retreat. A group of our residents chose scholarship as a topic that they wanted to focus on. They felt that the scholarship opportunities were phenomenal at Hopkins, but there were two major challenges that our trainees faced. The interns felt that while the opportunities to identify mentors and projects were limitless, by the time they figured out how to navigate the Hopkins waters, it was already late in their internship year. It's worth noting here that our residents work with faculty from all over Hopkins, including the School of Medicine, the Bloomberg School of Public Health, the Welch Center for Prevention, Epidemiology, and Clinical Research, the Armstrong Institute for Patient Safety and Quality, the Berman Institute of Bioethics, the Whiting School of Engineering, and the Carey Business School. So the interns wanted help navigating these waters in order to identify potential mentors and projects early on in their internship year. The second challenge was one faced by the second years. While they loved the scholarship work that they were doing and were very successful in presenting their work at meetings and publishing their findings, when the time came for fellowship applications late in second year, they would notice small gaps in their application that significantly increased the stress of application season. Perhaps you've experienced that this year. They requested a mechanism by which these gaps could be identified earlier in their second year, thereby mitigating the stress associated with fellowship applications. So to address these two challenges, we created the scholarship pathway four years ago, and I have the great joy of overseeing that pathway. So here's what I do. I meet with every new intern during July and August of their internship year. We sit together and we discuss their interests and their career goals. For those who know what they'd like to focus on, I immediately introduce them to three or four potential mentors across Hopkins, and I follow up to make sure that they've identified the perfect scholarship project. For those who are not yet sure about what they'd like to focus on, we talk about the experiences they've had during medical school and discuss ways to make use of elective time during internship to help them identify an area of interest. With the second year residents, we meet early on in second year and we discuss their fellowship application. We identify gaps in their application and come up with a plan to fill in these gaps before application season begins. For those who want to go directly into practice after residency, we focus on topics such as job applications, contract negotiations, etc. The scholarship pathway in four short years has resulted in a significant increase in scholarship productivity amongst our residents and a significant decrease in the stress associated with fellowship application. And so this is what our scholarship pathways looks like. As you can see, all the options are there for you to choose from. The pathways in red, the physician scientist pathway, the public health and global health pathway, and the education pathway are combined between the Bayview program and our sister residency program, the Osler program at Johns Hopkins Hospital. Of note, in addition to these combined pathways, we also share the handheld ultrasound curriculum with downtown. We have several residents working in each of the pathways listed. If you go to their online biographies on the Hopkins Bayview residency website, you can figure out which pathway they're in. Feel free to contact them to discuss their experiences. They all would be happy and welcome your contact. Finally, our latest innovation was introduced two years ago. Our residents suggested that they would like their own funding independent of their mentor's funding to work on their own ideas. So we introduced the PRISM grants. These grants are one-year grants and provide the residents with $5,000 to bring their idea to life. All they have to do is submit a two-page proposal which is reviewed and scored by independent reviewers. In 2019, we awarded five grants ranging in topics from stem cell research to promoting humanism and discharge summaries and everything in between. The 2020 applications are in, the grants are currently being reviewed. I'm so very delighted that you're considering our program. The goal of scholarship is to help reignite your passion for medicine no matter where that passion lies. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I look forward to meeting some of you soon. Take care.